Venice grows more and more, and uh, there's definitely room for growth on the economic front. So we're going to try to do that a little bit today. Welcome back, everybody, though. I hope you are all having a wonderful day. Welcome back to the Venetian Sea Achievement here as Venice. And uh, I'm steering his trade, so I might as well upgrade some of these, because that will help us steer even more trade into our home node. Though, to be fair, maybe I should upgrade these centers here to uh, give me a little bit of extra trade. And it wouldn't be a bad idea to steal a little bit of clay over this way and start, you know, getting more trade power in Italy. The issue is, is aggressive expansion in Italy is uh, kind of nuts. Let's get a claim on Mantua. That would be a good province to take here. And Urbino would be a good one to take. He's allied to a bunch of people I don't care about. Gascony, huh? Oh my gosh, somebody had pointed this out. Castile did get absolutely engulfed here. What in the world happened here? Leon is independent, allied to Bar. Galicia is independent. A vassal of Portugal. I'm very curious how Portugal got some clay up here. And uh, they also have that vassal, that province right there. Looks like France took some clay down here and Gascony is independent. That is not something you see every day as well. Okay, well. Safe to say there's some shenanigans afoot, but I'm happy to see it. 633, who is 55. I think that this is good. Six through three is solid. Oh, good. Embezzler. Solid. I like losing money. Okay, very good. And uh, I will definitely take that. That's going to help us out with our vassals. And I will eventually have to give all this land to Byzantium. Because uh, for the achievement, I don't... I'm not allowed to have um, various provinces. I'm only allowed to have ten. All right, so let's have you guys also privateer in Alexandria. The reason why I privateer is because it does hurt his income. As long as his income is being stifled, I will uh, be able to... Oh, nice. I will be able to... Um... My bad. I will be able to, um, you know, scale out, outscale him a little bit more. Now, let's see here. I do get PP for privateering, but maybe it would be better to protect trade in Alexandria since we are steering from it. it. Says we'll have a loss, which doesn't sound appropriate. Yeah, it's definitely a gain for us. I guess I'll do that for now. Um, I can rival... I guess I'll rival Muscovy as well. Kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. That means I can embargo them. And uh, there we go. So now the question is going to be, how do we get across the straits? Aside from just waiting on this truce, which isn't the longest truce. It's like a 10 years, right? We'll uh, be able to do that. So I suppose I could get a claim on Cyprus. Guaranteed by the Mams. Yeah, that's not going to happen either. All right, we have money. Mill mana. Sounds good. Land force limit modifier for 20 years and a leader without upkeep. Sounds good. Grants for contractors. This will give us merc maintenance and stuff like that. Very cool. Uh, Yeah, this is going to take some time. Oh, Venice has 50% or more trade power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is not going to... We might not even get that at all this run. Has grown by at least two states. Printing press and... Dev up Venice. That's going to take some time here. Though I am really far ahead on Mill and Admin. I'm working on Diplo Group. But I want to save up my mana here. Let's see. What's our next idea group? We could go with like... That's a good one. Diplo I want to take eventually. Influence quality gives us income from vassals, institution spread. Defensive influence gives war exhaustion, fort defense... Offensive gives Diplo relations and reinforced costs. Plutocratic. Liberty design subjects and vassal force limit contribution. So I think Plutocratic is the next one then. Fine by me. We're already focused on Mill. Um, we could upgrade this guy if he was an accepted culture. But he is. I just can't afford it. I'm broke. 69. <laughs> nice. All right, uh, I don't need my forces here, so I can definitely turn your army maintenance down. Now, I do want to get a claim on you guys here. 
And actually, I lied. I'm going to turn my army maintenance back up, and I'm going to turn this fort on here. Because I'm going to attack these guys. They're only allied to Genoa and Liege. I don't care at all. So, one more. I don't care about tax that much. Now, there is no way to see... I know this... It says it's been dev four times. I don't know if that will actually count for this mission here. Nine times. So I will do one dev click there. Does that give me the mission? It does not. Really? Really? Interesting. Okay, we'll see how that goes. Either way, I'm going to attack these guys now. How much does Genoa has 7,000? So this 12 stack should be plenty to handle them. Liege won't even join, so that's perfect. I will come in and I will stack wipe his army. Easy peasy. And uh, I will actually bring my navy over. I'll land them on Genoa itself. And this is a speed five war. Oh, I'll lose the stability. No problem. No big deal, right? Grant privileges, of course. Um, lose a diplomat, foreign spy detection, spy network construction. Okay, so it's 50% chance of those. Um, that's fine. Who is in power now? The guilds. I'm okay with the guilds being in power. That's fine. Yeah, these guys are going to be annoying, but that's okay. Diplo rep. Sounds good, man. Let's take uh, three units here and have you guys land on Corsica. If they want to siege on Ravina, I, I don't. It's fine. I don't care. Now I'm done converting all this. So I can turn that edict off. We can turn this edict on trade power. And that will certainly tr increase the amount of money that we're making. Oh, yes, it does. Because I'm not worried about them sieging me down. It's, uh, it's not something I'm concerned about at all. It's just a base race. You know, it does have some land over here, so hopefully my vassals will siege them down. It looks like Byzantium is landing men. <laughs> I love it. I love that vassals will actually land men. Okay. Um. Well, I am going to actually boost my stability here. So this is a nice little thing you can do if you have an event that's pending that will give you a stability, and you can do this. So basically, I get two stability for 207, which is expensive considering the fact that I still want to get this, but... Um, three stability is just really nice, and I like to stack stability. It's my preference there. So it, I just paid 207 admin for two stability to get me up to three. So, oh, hey, look at that. Nice. Uh, now let's have you guys head on down here and beat up on this, uh, army there. They're, they are now dad. Let's have you guys attack over here. We'll see, see win the siege of Genoa soon as well. To be honest with you, I will probably take Corsica. He is nuts, but manageable, I suppose. <laughs> I'll separate piece them because that'll allow me to... Uh... Oh, really? Hmm. Yeah, at the very least, I can do something like this. More money for me if you separate piece, so we'll do that. They have 1,000 calves somewhere. Here they are. So I can turn my forts off over here. I can turn them all off, actually. And turn my army maintenance down a bit as well. No big deal. Byzantine separatists are looking to pop in Rhodey, which is Rhodes, I assume. Yeah. Interesting. It's just literally just a separatism. So it'll go down in time. We can now click these buttons here. And you guys will also... I guess we could farm some prestige from them. Yeah, that's fine. Farming prestige, aka get as much from them as possible. Even if you would go over 100, you will still be able to... Uh, I'm going to increase the autonomy there as well. Even if you were going over, you're still fine to um, to do it because what it does is it takes it from them. So, All right. No AE or no coalition. And there we go. Now this fort is good. Uh, I don't think it's necessary though because the Breschke fort will cover it. So I'll just turn that Breschke fort on. Or Bres Breskia. I don't know how it's pronounced. And uh, that will handle the devastation over there. These guys have so much devastation in their lands because they suck. They deserve it, you know. 
Um, I suppose I can land my army over here on Rhodes just to make sure beyond any shadow of a doubt that it won't happen. Austria is going to war with some people I don't care about. I'm not going to actually help them. I guess I'll park my army here on uh, this province. The autonomy will, um, or the, the rebels will su be suppressed here. And as soon as we core it, we'll be able to get it converted as well. So it's no big deal. Oh my gosh, that is so expensive to core. Holy crap, how much dev is this? Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, that's fine. So I will dev this one more time. Give me the dang mission, man. Here it is. Thank you. Local construction time and cost. This will give me a level two admin guy if I have him upgraded. So let's do that there. Free mana. I like mana. Doge's palace, man. The reform progress growth would be really nice. Allows us to absolutely just rip through these idea or these policies. Eventually, I would like to do that. We'll see. Now, these guys give me what again? Naval maintenance and global trade power. Eh. Let's go with this one. That galley cost is going to be really nice for our economy. Because uh, safe to say we're probably over our naval limit by quite a bit even. So these guys, now those rebels are going to tick down over time, which is great. Now Corsica is having some rebel issues because... Uh, oh wait, Corsica. Right, right, right. So as soon as these guys tick down, I'll land this army over on Corsica. I don't care about my vassal getting seized down. It's fine because my vassals will defend their land and I'll actually get participation in the war even if I'm not doing anything with it. Which is like ideal. Uh, Lanshut has been pieced out. Uh, I'll increase my relations. It helps out with uh, managing AE. Kind of mitigates the damages from AE. So build a couple of you guys here. And I'm going to save up and make sure that I have some money to start upgrading my centers of trade here. Especially these two. This one especially. Look at that. 16 trade power. This one's got 14. This one's got 12. So, uh, yeah. Ugh. I don't like this event. I don't really care about it. I'd rather have the mana. Generally, you want to get your army, your Republican tradition up as high as possible. But when you're playing as Venice, it's not as big of a deal because they rule for life. So I'll just say, oh, well, no big deal. I'll, um, you know, I'll make sure that I... Uh, don't reelect. That's all. No big deal. Corsica, you will be full stated and you will get missionary strength and that will make me convert you quickly, which will help because we're going to have unrest. But uh, realistically, we're not going to have any rebels. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be converted long before the unrest. So that's good. Mentuva has been converted as well. I will not increase the autonomy here because that's a lot of dev and uh, that money is going to be really useful for us. Some rebels over here. Oh, no, anyways. Oh, yeah. Kill them. Wipe them out. Yes. See, my vassals got all that participation there. 20% for the Austrian-Bohemian Unification War. There you go. I just got 64 ducats and 11 favors with these guys, and I have not... I didn't do anything. I didn't do a single thing right there, right? So let's go to favors. Uh, they're losing money. So if I wait a few months, it'll... There you go. Yeah, I'll take it. That's fine. So let's upgrade you. And uh, that will increase our income of our trade. Oh, yeah, it does. We'll also upgrade Verona, and then we'll upgrade Istria. All of those combined will do this. Ship trade power, absolutely. freaking lootly Thank you, sir. So that'll help us steer quite a bit more trade from uh, vet, from uh, these down here. Matter of fact, it'd probably be in my best interest to build a few more. So let's get a few more, yeah? Matter of fact, let's actually get a flagship. The Aquelia Reale, or however that's pronounced. We will go with uh, trade power per ship and fleet. I'll actually make it a light ship even. Because it'll be way cheaper. Look at that. Way cheaper monthly. And then let's go with fleet movement speed. And let's go with... Engagement width is my usual. But uh, this guy is essentially for trade. So let's go with... Hmm. Yeah, let's go with... No, this one. Flag officers. So 1.3 ducats a month. No big deal. I do need a bit more money. So let's see here. I think I can yoink some base tax. There you go. So we'll yoink some base tax. And what this will do is, again, it lowers the overall dev in the provinces, which allows me to dev it with these two devs for much... Or these two monarch points for cheaper. It's... Base tax is not as useful in the late game. So that's why. I'm just thinking ahead. So now I need to get some... Um, Oh, I don't have dry or shipyards unlocked yet. 
Okay. That's actually what I was thinking. So I suppose now, since I have the money, I might as well upgrade you. Now we'll go from 20.1 up to 20.4 roughly, which is good. I would like to get this on Ferrara as well. He's got a few allies that I would maybe need to be a little careful of, but um, it would just be for Ferrara. I wouldn't be taking both provinces. So a full annex wouldn't be what it would be calling for. So it would be a lot cheaper for us. Now, these Mantuan separatists are going to fire more than likely, and that's okay. I, uh, I'll fight them. I'll actually... Here's what I'm going to do. So I'm actually going to decrease the autonomy. And I'm going to provoke them. So they'll fire. And now the province is really low autonomy. And uh, we're going to be getting way more money from it. And, uh, ooh, yikes. <laughs> Three innovativeness? Oh, that's tempting. For a loan, though. Um, is it just one loan? Yeah, if I wait a few months, it should just be one loan. So I'll, uh, I'll let that event time out there. And then, um... The early prestige is also nice. Who cares about tax? It's money and mana for um, innovativeness. Oh, nice. It actually went down a little bit as well. All right. Let's put you guys over here on missionary strength. That will convert this in like three and a half years. And now you can see here unrest negative. It doesn't exist anymore. So let's get you guys over here with the Navy now. Get a claim on Ferrara. Very good. I will attack them here. They will call in their allies. It's fine. Yep, this is fine. I will head in here with a new general. And then we'll head over here with you. Oh, right. Mantua or Milan is also in this war. Okay, so let's blockade them. All right, so I'm just thinking kind of what we want to do here. I do want to not fall behind on any tech at all. The Diplo relations is fine, but I don't need it. So I suppose we will get caught up on dip on tech here. That way, especially so we can maintain our innovativeness. Um, 14,000. Switzerland has 10. Luca has 4. So I guess we'll come over and siege on Luca. I'll siege on Modena first. Oh, hey. So here's a little trick here. In order to maintain the siege, just leave like a tiny little stack there. And these guys are coming over here, so... Let's uh, catch him and uh, crush him. Look at that. That's some losses right there, baby. Arma is hill, so I don't know if I want to fight him there. I will. Mm, 27th. If I can be there before that. 28th. Really? Hold on a minute. Oh, he's got mo movement speed. Right. All right. So just like that. We uh, just absolutely clapped their army, so that's really good for us. Now, here's the thing. Actually, instead of sieging these guys down, what I can do... They actually sieged down Genoa, and they deleted the fort there. <laughs> so Genoa's uh, literally an OPM over here now. How funny is that? We destroyed Genoa. <laughs> we set them up for failure. So what you do is you... Mm -hmm. They can't get onto here unless they come through this way because of the fort. So that's good. Innovativeness is now controlled, and uh, I believe we probably have tech advantage on these guys. We do. So if they want to come onto these provinces, that's fine, I suppose. The 10 must be controlled. That's a tough one. I think I... Okay, we just... We really do need to make sure that we don't let our... Don't let our Republican tradition go too low. Because it will cause issues for us. So, now the question is... Okay, this is fine. Because this is farmlands. This is definitely a fight that I want to take. Uh, let's go with the infantry combat ability guy. So that way we can absolutely clap these guys. And we stack wiped them. Heck yeah, dude. And... Um, Come on over here. This is a five stack, so we can easily stack wipe you. And my vassals have now arrived. And just look at that, man. Absolute just domination on the war. Now, if I get onto all these provinces, I could probably piece them out separately. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I keep getting all these stupid events that are just like... Ah, uh, okay. Army maintenance is so much. Fort maintenance. Let's see. Do I have any forts that I can delete? 
No, not really. I don't want to delete any of these guys over here. I guess we'll just take out another loan. Whatever. Because I'll separate piece these guys and take the money from the war. So it's no big deal. At least it shouldn't be a big deal. Okay. Let's have you guys hut over here with a siege guy. Have you guys... Um, okay. So I would like to separate piece these guys out. I think I could probably separate piece them. Maybe. They might make me seize their capital. That's kind of annoying, but it is what it is. If they uh, want to run around over here, be my guest. They're not going to get anything done. Um, let's have you guys head over here. My vassals are helping me siege down their capital, which is the war goal. Yeah, this is fine, man. This is fine. As long as we're roughly breaking even on the economy as well, I'm cool with that. Siege pips are okay. We are blockading them, which is nice. Um, I could probably afford to split these guys off. Split them in half. Did my admiral just die? They did. Ah, unfortunate, man. It's fine. We don't need one, I guess. I don't want to spend the Diplo for a new one. We will uh, we'll be able to handle them regardless. So they're going to come down and try to siege down my vassal. Oh, no, anyways. <laughs> it's always so funny how that works. Um, there we go. Wall breach over here. We're going to be 28% and they have rebels, which is great. Take that for the extra 12, 20% trade efficiency. So that'll basically that alone will give us like an extra two ducats a month, two and a half. Yeah. It's, it's always worth, uh, money for professionalism. See, I'll just take out another loan, whatever. What's another loan to me? Make a fine addition to my collection. And, uh, now these guys, I can actually piece them out right now. And I can have them break off some alliances. Ferrara, Luca. And none of these guys matter to me. I definitely want all their money. That's a no-brainer. That'll pay off some of my loans here. And then I can annul some of their alliances to uh, get a little bit of prestige. Just like that. So I can pay off all of our loans now. So there we go. Go to war to make money. Win wars. Repay loans. Easy peasy, right? Let's get up here to their capital. We'll siege down Luca. Gotta keep an eye on that. Very good. All right. My flagship is here. Get him out there. Pull those guys into port. Detach the busted ones and pull them out here. Now, I'll take my flagship, though. And have her go group up with uh, this fleet down here. Oh, they're on Constantinople. Never forget when the Swiss siege down Constantinople, right? Wait for the monthly tick. That way I can... Uh... I lied. I'm not going to... All right. Protect trade in uh, Alexandria. And just like that, that'll help us steer a bit more trade over here. We're good. As soon as we siege down Luca, we'll be able to separate piece them. I think I might separate piece out the Swiss as well. Man. If I get any more of these stupid events, I'm losing so much money to events, man. All right. This is fine, though. Uh, nope. No patriarch authority. Why lose literally any when you don't have to? And we will go with... I think we decided on plutocratic because plutocratic influence will also give us vassal force limit contribution and liberty to desire in subjects. So it'll make wider vassal play easier. We're already focused on mill. And uh, that is good. All is well. All is well. All right. Luca has been destroyed. I will have you transfer your trade power to me and uh, give me all your money. And I should probably... I think I've already looted everything over here. I have. So I suppose if these guys want to just siege down my vassal, that's fine. I, I don't really care. Meanwhile, I'm going to siege down these guys. This is so easy, man. So easy. Oh no, <laughs> they're sieging down some of my vassal's lands. I'm so, I'm literally shaking and crying right now. All right, another reform, parliamentarism or the presidential system. Eh, we're gonna have low enough provinces that I think the parliament is fine. Uh, I already have three stability. Advisor cost is nice. Uh, I think we go with advisor cost. And a nice little trick, just enact one before you get anything and then you it will automatically assign your capital on the first day. And all you have to do is this one. So five army, five Navy tradition, we get 10% um, 
advisor cost for the next, you know, whatever, 30 years or whatever. I don't know how long these actually last for. Does it say? 91. Oh, so it's 10 years. That's fine. Meanwhile, we're looting them and sieging down their capital. I have no manpower. It is what it is. As soon as we siege his capital down, we'll be able to uh, carpet siege him down, so... Yeah, because he's got his whole army over here on Constantinople. And there you go. They're now full occupied. I'll even give them a couple of months for loot ticks because screw them. That's why. Turn army maintenance down like half. A little below half. So that's his subject over here, the three leagues, but uh, I don't care. Yoink dev. Nah, not necessary. I will take all of his money though. And I will have you annul any useful alliances you have. Nah. That's fine. The uh, end rivalry for prestige. And all the money to pay off the loan. And then... All I want is Ferrara. And the reason why I'm doing all this is... Essentially... Ooh, Force Religion, of course. War reps and all their money. Just like that. Now we got a brother in the faith over here. If you can uh, enforce religion on like little OPMs in the HRA, there's no reason not to. You should just do it. So now our borders touch up over here. We have a nice little fort line as well. We'll go park an army in Ferrara. And uh, we don't have any rebels. So I guess the rest of them can come over here. We realistically can drill our army if we want. So I will do that. Because that does allow you to um, suppress rebels while also um, gaining professionalism. If you don't know. I will core up Ferrara. And uh, that is another estuary, so more trade power. Look at this. This province is giving so much trade power just because of the estuary. It's crazy. So that right there is making us an extra probably duck in a month. I also need to upgrade Istria here. So let's uh, build one admin tick dip there for, or one admin point there. Click that button there. There we go. Build more buildings, and then you just keep on rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Conquer, build buildings, conquer, build buildings, spend money, make money, spend money, make money. And that is the cycle of it. So obviously, uh, us being over here, we have like more than 10 provinces just in this general vicinity. So we're going to have to attack the Ottomans here soon. Two years. We will take as much clay for the, these guys as possible. And uh, this will allow me to get over here. I think we will probably will attack these guys directly. Because navally, I'll be able to trash those guys. Uh, and they will not be able to get around here unless they can get mail access all the way through here, which I would be very surprised if the Mamluks could. Uh, and so what we will do is we will declare war for these guys, for the war goal. We will take this. And then if I do, if I am able to, which I, I doubt I will be, but we'll see. If I am able to get over and conquer some land in the Mamluks, take a fort, I would take one province to release Syria. Because Syria is an incredible vassal. Incredible. If you guys are excited for what is to come and you're enjoying the campaign, make sure you let me know. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe, ding the bell. Join the Discord, subreddit, Twitter. They're all linked in the description below. And support me on Patreon if it's within your means, guys. I couldn't do it without my Patreon support. You guys are wonderful. I love y'all. And uh, that's all I got for you. So this is Jewish Shoot, and I will catch you guys later.